Hey, this is Alex G, and I'm out here at the mall celebrating with family. Today was a really big day for me. I just became an adjunct instructor for Edgewood College. It's a local Dominican college here in Madison, Wisconsin, and I've just been hired to teach in the educational doctoral program. So I'm teaching students who are probably administrators at universities right now, maybe high school counselors, and they want to become dean of students or provost or maybe even a chancellor. It was really, really powerful. So sometimes people ask me, hey Alex, don't you have enough on your plate? Don't you have enough to do? Yes, I do have enough on my plate, and obviously I don't have enough to do. But when I think about systemic change and how I really want to, to close achievement gaps, I begin to take a look at what the needs are in the community and what skills I have. I'm a practitioner. I've run social service programs for a quarter century. I'm a pastoral leader. I've led a congregation for about 35 years. But I'm also a thought leader. Um, I'm conscientious, I'm reflective. And so the idea of being in the classroom with future university administrators is intriguing for a number of reasons. Sometimes I just don't have the energy to go toe to toe or head to head with administrators and trying to explain what's going on in the community and how they can respond better. I'd rather talk to people who are hungry about their careers and they're climbing the career ladder and shape their minds. The majority of these participants are white and they want to know how do we engage the community. Now what I love about Edgewood College is that I am not here to talk about minority communities, although I bring that up because that's my expertise. I'm here to teach the theory of partnership, how when there's a need or a lack of resources in the community, Agencies, entities, departments, companies merge together to produce good through collaboration. The bulk of my work in my career has been about collaboration. So I have to tell you that it just felt very affirming to sit here holding court with 14 doctoral students and they're calling me Professor G and, well, how would you handle this? Or what do you think about this? Or what are your thoughts about this situation? And so I'm just really proud of the way my mother trained me. Um, I'm proud of the people who pushed me to go back to school and get my graduate degree, but I'm really proud to be sitting in a classroom for a whole semester. I'm the professor of records, and I get to shape the minds and the hearts of people whose jobs it will be to reach out strategically to communities, not to help the communities, but to help themselves. And so I'll tell you a little bit more about it as we go down the road, but I'm just, I'm excited about it. I've got a, I've got a, a special portfolio. They give me a special name tag, but it's just great. It's a great way to take my work seriously. It's one thing to write grants, to lead staff, to talk about the issues, to write newspaper articles. It's another thing to take all of the information that I've been learning, practicing and preaching, and to curricularize it and to put it together so that I help the next group of educational leaders think differently about their communities, people who look like me, people who look like them, and their abilities to do good in the community. In a, in a book we're using, the author Pamela Eddy says that the universities and colleges are the public squares. So my challenge to the class today, if the public squares function like private squares, then how do they really influence society? And true community change for institutions begins with the individuals understanding where are they lacking and where do they need stronger partnerships and relationships. So being able to put my pastoral hat on and to say that we've got to help individuals to understand their needs for, for partnership before they can lead a major institution into a partnership. And so this is great work. I like rolling up my sleeves and really being part of the solution. So I'm grateful for a community that lets me be a preacher on Sundays, um, thought leader through the week, an author, um, um, a columnist, a podcast host, but also a faculty member, um, professor of record, um, so that I'm able to train this next group of leaders. So I'll keep you posted. It feels like great work, and I feel like I stand on the shoulders of the black men and women who could not enter into these institutions, could not preach in these kinds of institutions, and I get to bring it in the spirit of those upon whose shoulders I stand. So I'm excited. And so this is Professor Alex G. Just letting you know I had a great day. My first day, this course is called Law and Partnerships. It's, it's um, course 735 in the Edgewood College um, doctoral program. I've got so much more to teach these students, and I'll be giving you updates from time to time.